Hello and welcome. I'm June Bianchi, PGCE Secondary Art and Design Subject Leader. In this video demonstration series, I will introduce you to a range of media, techniques, resources and pedagogical approaches within the Secondary Art and Design curriculum. Each short video is designed to support safe creative practice within the PGCE studio and your classrooms, focusing in on four key aspects. Resources, risk assessment with safe creative practice for yourself and your pupils, pedagogy and techniques. Each video will include a final slide summarising the key points of the media and technique. The model that we apply on the PGCE Art and Design course at Bath Spa University is the Artist Researcher Teacher Model. That's one of your core texts, Alan Thornton's 2013 book, The Artist Researcher Teacher, explored the three identities that teachers mediate in order to work creatively with children and young people, sustaining their own practice and developing a research active approach to the profession. So the display I have in front of me is a display that focuses in on developing a unit of work to address the national curriculum. The aims of the national curriculum state that key stage three pupils should produce creative work, exploring their ideas and recording their observations and experiences in sketchbooks and journals, become proficient in drawing, painting, sculpture and other art, craft and design media and techniques, evaluate and analyse creative work of themselves and others, using the language of art and design and develop a critical understanding of artists, architects and designers, including styles and major movements from ancient history to the present time. The focus for this unit of work, which we will be exploring in this series of videos, is celebrating culture with an emphasis on Ethiopian art. Cultural development is a key aspect of the art and design curriculum. This particular unit of work, Ethiopian art, celebrating culture, addresses the key aspects of the curriculum in relation to cultural development and awareness, understanding of formal elements such as colour, line, shape, form, understanding techniques and has the potential for interdisciplinary work linked with humanities, religious studies, history, geography, literacy, storytelling, drama, music and dance, and also with STEM subjects such as science. Using a sketchbook, as a teaching artist myself, my sketchbook is something that I am developing all the time. This particular sketchbook relates to a trip to Ethiopia which I made to study the art and culture and I'm going to be using that as source material for this unit of work. I'd like to take you on a guided tour of the studio pointing out key health and safety factors for you to be aware of. We have got printed notices around the studio so do read and take heed of instructions that are given there. There is an emergency telephone and you can dial out to security and first aid if required. You are requested please don't eat in the studio and if you want a drink then please use a lidded cup. This is the electricity loop. It will be switched on by qualified and insured staff for your subject sessions. In the director time, the loop won't necessarily be switched on, so the light will be off. This is a health and safety issue, as this loop enables you to plug in potentially inflammable 
uh, equipment such as hot glue guns, hot uh, wax heaters and irons. Fire exits are clearly labelled and must be kept clear. Please avoid placing bags in the fire exits, store personal possessions under the tables. Resources and materials are well organised and classified according to media and techniques. It would be much appreciated if you could return materials to the correct place for future use of yourself and other students. Glues and fixative sprays that are potentially hazardous to health are kept in the cosh cupboard. This means control of substances hazardous to health. If you need any of these, please ask and the key will be given. Please note that a medical chest is also available for minor injuries on top of the cosh cupboard. Please note that sharps should be safely disposed of in the sharps bin and never returned to the waste bin. A range of protective clothing is available in the studio at all times. Plastic aprons to protect your clothes, respiratory masks when dealing with dust or fumy materials, protective goggles when dealing with sharps, and gloves to protect your hands from sharp materials and also from chemicals, dyes, etc. Cutting boards, metal rules and blades are available for safe cutting and lino cutting must always be done using a bench shock. Please ensure trailing leads are attached to the floor with duct tape to prevent trip hazard. That electrical equipment, particularly equipment used to heat inflammable materials such as hot glue guns and hot wax heaters are always switched off and disconnected from the mains when not in use. That hot glue guns are stored safely in their racks when not in use. You will receive a copy of the risk assessment and COSH document for your information to sign and return. A copy of all documents related to health and safety practice within the studio is available at all times.